What's up everyone? So today I had some pest in the house and I'm going over two products that are used and why I purchased them and the results that they give. So let's get into this little product review and see what it's all about. So the Ortho Home Defense, first of all, kills basically your spiders, cockroaches, and ants on contact and it's supposed to last for 12 months. It's highly effective in doing that. Um, I highly recommend it. As you can see, we're in the kitchen still. Uh, they also have one for indoors, but I don't spray this around areas that I'm gonna eat. I spray it on, around the floor, the baseboards and stuff, and then also outside um, just to prevent any bugs from coming in, especially when you're home renovating like I am. Uh, the bugs have been coming in through um, the areas that are exposed when removing like the trim and uh, sinks and toilets stuff like that so home defense kills right on contact and it works fast so I recommend this uh, and after you use it if you use it indoors like say you did use it on the countertops make sure it's at nighttime when no one's going to be touching the countertops uh, allow it to kill whatever it is you need to kill and then uh, wipe it off with some uh, soap and water and clean everything up just so it doesn't contaminate any of your food products. Um, I don't recommend this indoors unless you're spraying it on the floor and you don't have any kids because this is not um, safe for indoors and it says it. Um, but nonetheless, I still used it on the floor around here just because I took off all the trim and baseboards. So if you come over here, as you can see, we're doing construction still and What's end up happening is bugs are coming in through the cracks. So until the trims are placed in and stuff like that, I can't uh, I can't seal this off. So I just spray it around the edges and it kills them on contact. So if you have an ant problem like I did in the kitchen, so I have I had roaches outside um, that were coming in uh, because the moisture and stuff. So I sprayed this around the outside and of course the roaches died uh, before they entered the home or tried to enter the home. And then the Toro Ant Killer had ants weaseling their way through the smallest crevices, okay? So I sprayed this stuff and this stuff killed them instantly. The only problem is the ants come back and they find a different route. So even though you spray around the bottom they might come in through, say, a crack in the window sill or uh, in the grout and find a new way in. So what I end up using in order to kill the main problem is the tarot ant killer, which I found the trail of ants and I dropped it every so often, a little drop in the way. And they instantly gravitated to this stuff. I don't know what's in it, but they definitely liked it. And what I did was I let them, you know, go back to their colony. Don't kill any of them. Uh, they'll take this stuff back and it's supposed to kill all the ants in their colony at the location versus this. It just kills the ants that are coming out. So your ant problem might persist. This, they'll take it back, eliminate them altogether. And let me show you how well this stuff worked and how well this worked as well. One thing I like about uh, the ortho stuff is if you buy the wand, you only have to buy one of the wands. I don't recommend the spray one. Uh, I use that one and if you're spraying a lot, it's tire, it's tiring in your hand, uh, especially if you got to spray your whole house down around the perimeter of your home. I recommend getting an electronic one and then buying the refills. As you can see, this is a refill because I already went through the original one that came with this. Um, earlier in the summertime. And then all you do is swap it out. And then once this goes out of batteries, you could either buy the whole kit again or just replace the batteries in the wand. So this Terra Ant Killer stuff is a liquid. It's almost like a, a gel, but not as thick. Um, so if you look at it, it's viscosity is thicker than water for sure. And it internally, it basically has a little dropper that, you know, only squirts out so much at a time. 
And then this is your ingredients if you're curious about that stuff. For the ortho stuff, if you come down here, that's where I sprayed it and instantly dead. Okay. They were coming in from the bottom of the cabinet and that's because I don't have no trim around here anymore. Um, Cause I pulled all that stuff off for me to lay the tile down. But yeah, there's cracks and stuff that they come through. Here's some more dead bodies of ants uh, from the spray. And this is just, you know, the beginning of it. I actually, um, you know, cleaned this stuff up multiple times and uh, same result. So the ortho stuff worked pretty good. I sprayed it in the back of the kitchen counter. I just dropped some drops of the ortho back here. And as you can see, it killed them as well. There's a whole bunch back here. Um, I cleaned it up. These are just stragglers that came back and that killed them. For the tarot ant killer, as you can see, basically they gravitated towards it. And now they're eating uh, the stuff and they're gonna take it back to their nest. Both of these products are uh, odorless, no matter which one you do or choose to use. Uh, this one's only for ants, so if you only have ants, this might be a perfect solution. Um, but if you have ants, you probably have other critter, critters around. So I do recommend every homeowner to have uh, this around their house just because it's easy to use. And once you use it, you don't have to worry about them for a while. Uh, as long as you don't wash it off. Uh, same thing with this. This I would recommend, you know, using and then getting rid of it once you kill that colony. Just because you don't want to attract more ants. Once you get rid of the ant problem, then you could go ahead and spray your home with the home defense stuff just to keep any pests out of your house. Uh, I don't recommend squirting this uh, in the ant area just because it's going to make them go in a different direction and then you won't be able to utilize this efficiently. Um, so use this if you have ants first and then spray this once they already take that back to their colony more of a preventative maintenance type of thing. So that's going to complete today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. If you want to see content like this and other content I'll be posting in the near future, consider subscribing, especially home renovation stuff. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.